guys, getting ready to do a reading for the collective energy. Let's see what is going on for you guys. What is going on for the collective universe? <clears throat> We have two people here, five of swords under the deck. It could be a married couple, it could be two earth signs coming together. Um, two, it could be two people who really have a lot in common. Got the lovers of Gemini energy. Someone is looking at the past. So someone may want a new beginning with the world energy here. Let's go back through here and see. Four of wands, the four of coins, the four of swords, wow. This could be a very stable connection, the nine of coins. I feel like it's two people who both want to manifest the same thing. So it doesn't matter the sign, your sign, their sign, doesn't matter the gender. You may not even know this person at this point in the reading. I'm not sure. I just know having 444 means that there's a lot of stability. This is being guided by the universe. You're having help. So this may be someone who has the same exact, um, they want the same things you do. So they want a stable relationship. They want to have a lot of money. They want to feel secure. They want to work together, that type of thing. And I always tell people to mat write down exactly what it is you want to manifest. Write down exactly what you want. You want that. You want the other person to want the same thing, right? Single, available, you want to date, you want to marry, you want to you know, buy a house, etc. So now this could be two people coming back together with the chariot energy here though in the outcome. a lot some game playing here with the knights showing up with the knight of wands and the knight of cups but i kind of feel like it is also kind of a spirited um, flirtatious energy like this queen of swords that may not really show how they're feeling right away but i feel like this king of coins i feel like it's the same person the two queens are the same person but i feel like this king of coins knows how this person feels so i feel like this this queen of coin may be kind of hiding their feelings uh, if this is you, you kind of aren't really going to expose a lot, especially coming as the Queen of Swords right away. You're kind of going to see how things unfold. And you may even come across as a bit flirtatious, not really all that interested. You're kind of playing coy, holding back a little bit, waiting to see what what they they say. Because I think what you may want, and this Page of Swords is you. I feel like you're kind of listening to this person. You're seeing how they treat you. They're seeing if they give you a compliment. You're seeing if they want the same thing when it comes to money. Because we have the seven of coins to the nine of coins. It's kind of like, are we on the same page? Do we want the same things in this connection? Do we both, you know, want to have a nice lifestyle? Do we want to live in the same area? Do we want the same things? Do we want kids? Not want kids? Want a dog? Want a cat? What? What is it? This king of pentacles actually seems pretty happy. I feel like they want to be with you with the lovers right out of the gate, like very quickly, but they're going to hold back, which is probably for the best with the four of coins in this case, and be a little more romantic with the knight of coins, not of cups, excuse me. So I kind of feel like they're going to, what's nice is I feel like the masculine energy is going to show more and the feminine energy is going to hold back, which seems like a lot of times it's always kind of been role, role reversed, not always, but just kind of seems that way. You're going to play a little bit more, if you're the feminine, a little bit more coy and kind of let them, you know, chase you. Just, 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 it's not, not games, just kind of like on this date, on this getting together. Yeah, see, so you're waiting for them to give you something. Oh, and maybe it's an apology. Maybe this person owes you an apology with the five of cups. I feel like this, I feel like this masculine energy here is going to really pour out their heart. They're really going to tell you what they're thinking and feeling. They may have not done that in the past. Yep. See, you're waiting to see, do they want the same thing? Because to me, the Ten of Cups is like the fairy tale, the dreamland, the, the whole, you know, what would we really, really love? Like a $6 million mansion next to the ocean, but what can we actually afford? So I feel like you guys both have the dream, the Ten of Cups. Like you want to hear this person tell you that they want the dream. They want what you want. They want to build it. Um, and anything is possible. So it's kind of like, I'm also feeling like, like I said, this person may owe you an apology. I'm also hearing you were right. So they may say like, oh, you were right. So you must have some history with this person with this, with these um, cards showing up. Some of you also have been waiting for this, but you actually saw this coming. Either you had a dream or, you know, an insight, a psychic, you know, download, something like that, a premonition. It's kind of like getting with this four of cups because he does look surprised, but I get you're not going to be that surprised for some reason. I get like you kind of been knowing and waiting. 
watching the tower. <clears throat> I kind of feel like, again, some of you might put this person in their place. You might have like a few words, to, choice words to tell them off. You may be pissed off with them. You might, um, let me do one for the tower though, because it is a breakthrough, but um, yeah, it's kind of like seeing something differently or letting this person see something differently because I have the sun under the deck right now. So this is still good. It's not like you're blowing them out of the water. It's not an argument, huge argument that you can't come back from. It's seeing something differently, an epiphany, a decision. It can be a decision about work, living, uh, tower can also be, you know, where you guys are going to live together, something like that. Page, I feel like you guys are very excited. The page of wands makes me feel like after like a brief, maybe argument or something like that, maybe some tears are shed, then there's going to be all this excitement. Like, what are we going to do next? Where are we going to go? What are we going to plan? You know, what do you want? So what is this page of wands? Because I feel like there's a lot of happy conversation, planning about the future. Yeah. Ace of coin, a brand new beginning, the devil energy, the two of wands, nine of wands. I feel like there's going to be a lot of hard work though. Because again, I feel like the two of you do want like a lot of like big things, nice things, or you want to move somewhere very specific or so there might be a lot of planning with the nine of wands and other people that you might have to include or exclude. So like let's say one of you has kids, we're going to move the kids out of the school. Uh, are we going to tell our in-laws or ex-laws, whoever they are, what are we going to do? I see, um, I see you guys hatching a plan together, to be very honest, with the devil and the ace of coin and along with this. It's like, you got to get down to the nitty gritty. What are we going to build, do, where are we going to build it at? So some of you, you and this person, the reason you're coming out as queen and king of coins, like I said, that you guys both want a lot of money. You want a lot of security. You want a lot of nice things. You kind of want to block out the rest of the world and everything that's going on. And you guys want to be safe and secure in your own like little castle. That's kind of what I'm getting here. So I kind of feel like you might lose sight of other people around you. Uh, friends or family so just keep that in mind the way this devil is I feel like it's you may also feel like this person may be overzealous or a little bit I don't want to say controlling but they could be kind of like maybe that's all they think about is money and you have a couple other things on your mind because you do have the ten of cups there so maybe you're feeling like this person that's what they're all about the money all the time and you want to make sure everyone else in the you know group or family is happy yeah be careful because I feel like you could go down a path where I feel like you're balanced. You know what you want. They have something else in mind. So make sure you get everything out on the table of where your guy, you, you are headed. What this person's idea is. Let them talk. Let them say, you know, what their plans are. Looking at the past. Seven of Wands. There is something here that looks like you guys had an argument about before. And that may be still in play. So you need to definitely say, hey, look at the past. I don't want to do it this way. I don't want to X out family. I don't want to X out friends. Is what I'm kind of getting on your part. So let them tell you exactly what it is they're thinking, doing what they want. They seem to be possibly a little bit like maybe they want to control the situation with the devil energy or something like that. But you're going to know that. Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands. Moving forward. I think you're going to have a lot of decisions to make, though, with this connection. That's the only thing. I do feel like some of you, maybe this Queen of Swords, though I do believe she's you, I believe she could also be a family member, such as a mother figure. Maybe someone that you might have to leave behind, or maybe she wants to come live with you guys. Or there, I feel like there's some there's there's disagreements around what to do with family, friends, coworkers, jobs, things like that. Because going into this could be kind of like the unknown and letting the past go. So, let me extend this one, you guys, because I'm on, I kind of feel like if you're not on the same page with this person, you may be okay with that because of your original overall energy. Because you started out with the Four of Wands, where you have stability around you. And then this Knight of Wands tells me that you're kind of in this playful energy of take it or leave it. And this Four of Cups even makes me feel like you knew this was coming, but you're acting surprised. And this even here tells me you've been waiting for this person or this conversation. The Seven of Swords fell out again. Um, or it's under the deck or something. I keep seeing the Seven of Swords. So I'm kind of wondering 
if you have a trick up your sleeve or if you kind of know what's going on already, you're not blind to this situation. This person may think that you are or something like that. Yeah, because you're listening to your intuition and justice and you're following your inner guidance. You're woke now. Maybe dealing with this person in the past you weren't, but I kind of get like you have one up on them. You have like a higher vision. You kind of already know what they're thinking or doing. Um, it's like, I don't see you're smarter than them, but you kind of are, you know what I mean? There's something here where like you're really tapped into your inner guidance when it comes to this connection and what this person is planning to do. And I feel like you put your foot down somewhere along the line and kind of just say, no, again, the towers are here. No, we're not going to do it that way. It's either this way or that way, you know, you choose, but we're not going to do it where we just like X everybody out or yeah, I think I'll extend this one. I'm going to see what shows up and how this person's thinking and feeling, how they view you in the situation, how you're going to feel after talking to this person, um, where, where it's going to head in the next, you know, six months or a year or something like that. And whatever else comes through, we'll let it through. So I'll put the link below. Have a great week, you guys.